Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are going to be talking about the new Dragon Ball Legends data download and new banner that's currently available. So uh, shout out to legends.dbz.space. Make sure you go over, check it out. Um, this is where you get all the news information. It's pretty much everything that was downloaded in game on a web page, which makes it a lot easier to read and it's categorized a lot nicer. So you go over there, check it out. This is the website I will be using and I have been using on most of my videos for Dragon Ball Legends. So um, first things first, in terms of this banner, the Ultra Space Time Summon number three is now on. You get a whole bunch of new sparking units. There's actually four new sparking units. You get Android 17, you get Android 18, you get Super Saiyan Goku, and you get Krillin. These are all the new sparking ones. Krillin is an agility unit, so yes, we finally get another agility. Uh, Goku is physical, Android 18 is physical, and Android 17 is purple. So um, I, I know we have a whole bunch of purple units that just came out. I kind of wish that they gave us a little bit more variety. I would like another strong technique unit, but maybe in the next banner that'll come out, I think Cell will probably end up being a tech unit. But uh, that's just speculation on my part. All this is currently available. You could also purchase this Goku from the uh, the shop. So you can go into the shop. You can get him personally. I'm not. I usually pick up the packs, um, but because the third year anniversary of Bleach Brave Souls is live now, and the third year anniversary of Dokkan already happened, uh, I don't have the finances to pick up another pack. Um, so I will definitely not be doing that. <laughs> uh, but you can go ahead and pick it up if you want to. It looks like it's going to be available until 9-3, so until September 3rd. So you have the, the entire month of August, which starts tomorrow, um, to actually pick them up. Now, um, before I go into all the card units and um, why I won't be part, another reason why I won't be purchasing him, uh, I don't really like it because he has the viral heart disease, which is minus 5% to own health for each art card used, which means if you're using multiple arts cards, which I know you're probably only going to use maybe like 10, 15 of them, but like that adds up. That's like 10, 50% uh, of your health after you use 10 of them. And 10 of them is only like, you know, four, uh, damn, um, four of all well, the four of them is, uh, what, uh, that 20% of your health right there. So you use 20% of your health, just launching all your uh, attacks. So I, I don't really want to use that. And there's nothing that actually helps him regenerate health. Uh, he does do 20% minus own key recovery for 15 timer counts. He's like his own ability and whatnot. Uh, but he is a good link. Yellow base and strike, uh, yellow base strike and blast attack is increased by 24%, um, at level three for uh yellow uh, units so that's not horrible especially if you want to run more yellow units like go the kid go on or the pike go on uh but honestly because that health, heart disease i will that, that's another reason why i will not be picking them up even if i had the uh, finances to do so but uh these are all the units here this is pretty much all the units in game right now um I, I will be talking about all the new ones including the heroes in this video so if you guys are interested in that um this is going to be a longer video because i'm going to be talking about all of them i'll at least be going over at least the z abilities of them um so we already talked about the super saiyan goku as you see over here let me zoom in a little bit so that way it's bigger on the screen for you. So, uh, let's see here. On level 300, well, let's go level 1000 because that's what we're all using right now. It looks like his overall power level is going to be 103,000, maybe 154. Um, his health is decent. His strike attack is 26,000. His strike defense is 17,000. Blast attack is 25. So, he's kind of well-rounded in terms of uh, attack and defense. Or, sorry, for blast and strike attacks. Um, I think most of them are usually like the higher end of the 20s and the lower end of the 20s for one or the other. So it looks like he's more of a hybrid unit. Um, let's see, his main ability, 20% in da uh, to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. And it increases the card arts draw speed by one level for 15 timer counts. So it pretty much just means he's going to be getting a lot more card arts a lot quicker. And he's going to be increasing the amount of damage that he does. But remember, that minus 5% per card art you use. That kind of stinks. A uh, unique ability, minus 10 to own card arts cost from the battle start for 20 timer counts, which means you're going to go in there and you have a lot, you could use a lot of them really quickly. Uh, effect is <laughs> not applied to awakened or ultimate arts cards. Um, okay, cool. In interesting to know that. Um, and viral hearts disease, minus 5 to own health for each arts card you use. Um, uh, I'm not a big fan of that, but whatever. Uh, let's see. So it's special. And these are, I guess, these are the arts cards, the, the, the actual uh, damage for. The normal strike and the blast so i guess that's what's considered the arts card because this is the extra and then this is the special but uh yeah either way that's still not that great special deals major impact plus 20 percent to inflicted damage for 10 timer counts um that's not bad i like that it's a super kamehameha so he he does a lot of damage this guy pretty much is going to be a glass cannon you want to make sure that you get all of your attacks out as soon as you can with him uh before he ends up killing himself pretty much 
but he is a decent unit and he will do a lot of damage. He's a pretty good physical unit overall. Um, let's see over here, 19%. When you get him at level 1, he does 19% to yellow base strike attack, uh, strike and blast attack. So these are all the yellow un units in the game. Um, as you see over here, Android 18, Super Saiyan, Goku, Final Form Frieza, Pycon, and Kid Gohan are all the, S the sparking units uh, that you could use. We also have the new ones that are out, which I will be discussing as well. So he will be benefiting them. Um, and then I guess boost panels for boost level 1. Um, you need 580 small ones for boost 2. Okay, yeah, you can see the, the, what this, what's going on here. Actually, cool. Yeah, Renzi, good job, man. I really like that. Uh, that's a very awesome and very useful uh, setup that you did over here for us to know how many uh, of each of these crystals we're going to need. Hell yeah. Anyway, so he's an alright card. I don't really... I'm not going to go for him personally. I'm, not, I'm only going to do the discount summons this month anyway. But uh, I would not want to go for him myself. Uh, we're moving on to Android 18 right now. She has a tags female warrior, android twins, female sparking. Um, well, I guess she's a melee type. Uh, so these are just some of the tags over here. Um, so it looks like female warrior she is, and she is an android. Um, and I guess android suck. I don't know what the rest of this stuff is. So maybe twins is its own thing. Um, but level 1000. <coughs> wow, actually, yo, look at that. See, this is what I was talking about before when we were talking about the Goku. She has a very high strike attack, a lower blast attack. Higher end of the 20,000s and the lower end for the blast. So she looks like, in terms of her base stats, she is a strike attack character. Uh, main ability, draw ultimate uh, cards are Deadly Dance next. Uh, requires 25 timer counts, must elapse, so you need to wait for 25 seconds uh, before you could actually draw the ultimate arts card. Her unique ability, 20% to own key recovery when tag Android is a battle member, so you need another Android. Uh, use like Android 17, Android 18, um, uh, any of the other, like Android 16, Android 17, uh, Android 20, I guess, Dr. Jero, I guess that would be there, and I'm sure Cell would have it too. Uh, against Saiyan's strike attack plus, uh, so you get 20% to uh, strike damage inflicted against Tag Saiyan, which <coughs> is actually really good. I'm sorry for the coughing. Um, she is a physical unit, so that means against the uh, intelligence, uh, yeah, well, the intelligence, the purple Vegeta and the purple Goku, she's going to do a lot of damage against. That's really awesome. Special deals, major explode damage, plus 20 to own key recovery for 10 timer counts. That's not bad at all, actually. Once you use a special, you get a uh, key recovery a lot quicker, which makes sense because that's 50, uh, that you're using 50 uh, stamina or 50 key right there, and then you're going to want to regenerate that quicker. Infinite energy reactor, plus 15 to strike damage, inflict 15 timer counts, minus 5 to own strike arch cost for 10 timer counts. Wow, that's awesome. Hell yeah. Um, and the ultimate special, major impact damage, plus 5 to enemy substitution count for 15 timer counts. Wow. Heck yeah. And she's a double key blast. Wow, that, that's so counterintuitive. Because she is a melee character. Uh, but alright, cool. So, Rizzi ability, 19% to tag female warriors, base strike, attack, and defense. So, unfortunately, that's only going to be good for Pan um, and Android 18 as of right now. And I guess, yeah. So, when you get her up to level 3, it's 24. So, yeah, basic stuff. Um, and we're not going to go over all the other stuff. It's crazy for all that right now. Uh, but overall, I think she is a decent unit. Um, she is definitely going to be one for... Uh, strike attacks, but I, I, the way that her arts cards are being held, having two power makes no sense to me. I think they should have given her one power, one, um, if they want to make her even, one power, uh, one strike, I mean, and one key blast. I feel like that would have been a little bit better. But overall, not a bad unit. Um, let's go talk about Android 18, uh, 17 instead of Krillin, just because I want to keep the two Androids together. Uh, so Android 17, he looks like he is going to be a blast attack focused character at 27,000, his strike attacks lower at 22,000. Um, all right, that's cool. Uh, that makes sense. They want to make them. They usually make them opposites. Even in Dokkan Battle, they make them opposites. Main ability: Absolute Confidence. Draw Special Arts card next. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Um, cause enemy to receive 35% more blast damage uh, for 20 timer counts. Requirements: 15 timer counts must elapse. Okay, so I kind of see what they're doing here. Um, he is going. Well, actually, that's actually really good for himself. I thought for a second there, I was like, oh, wait a second, it's going to be helping out Android 18. But no, wait, I forgot she is melee, he is uh, blast. So, double team, unique ability, double team, plus 25 to blast damage afflicted when three battle members are left. Uh, okay. Uh, cover, reduce damage. Uh, reduce damage received by 40% until combo ends when changing cover. Okay, so he's damage reduction for that. Plus 20% to strike damage inflicted for 15 timer counts and plus 3 to own substitution count when activated. Interesting. Okay, cool. So he's going to be doing 20% more strike damage, which I don't think that's that uh, relevant for him just because he uh, is only have 22,000 uh, strike attack, but whatever. It's not horrible. His special deals major slice damage, causes enemies to receive 20% more strike damage in timer counts. 40% uh, chance to inflict paralysis. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Um, so I guess they're, they're, they're trying to make these characters more hybrid. 
like they're giving them like okay you're gonna be more of a ball you're gonna have a huge a bigger buff to your blast attacks but we're not gonna completely make your strike attacks useless we want to keep still keep them relevant uh so his extra is going to be the barrier it nullifies enemies attacks including certain moves like rising rush oh excluding certain moves like rising rush okay that's cool uh if enemy is at a close range uh, while attacks are nullified they will be knocked back to a long range okay cool uh, plus 5 cost to own special arts cards per use. Max plus 15. Ooh, interesting. Okay, cool. Wow, but that's, that's going to be a special arts card. That means you can go up to 65 uh, cost, key cost for that. Insane. Uh, so that might not be, you might not want to use that with, you know, it's cool, but I mean, like, but it nullifies enemies. It doesn't give you uh, how long it nullifies their attacks. Interesting. I guess we're going to have to wait and find out. Uh, he does strike, and he has a strike and a blast card, which is cool. Uh, purple, Blast, Attack, and Defense, which is going to be good. As you see here, the Vegeta, uh, Android 17, is going to help himself. Turles and Goku. Oh, I forgot Turles was on there as well for the Android 18. She's going to do good against him as well. So uh, there's that, and that's pretty much it. He's a really good unit, very good for Purple. Um, he's an overall good unit. Uh, that extra for the barrier, I don't know. Again, I don't know how long they uh, are going to be nullified for. Maybe they're nullified until you attack them. I don't know. Um, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. If, I know, if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Uh, the next one is going to be the Sparking Krillin. Now, this is an agility unit. He looks like he's part of the Super Warrior, which is cool. Uh, let's see, for level 1,000, wow, he, his strike attack is garbage, but his blast attack is pretty high up there. Um, so his strike attack is going to be doing almost no damage. You definitely want to do blast with him. Uh, let's see here. His main ability, a Glimmer of Hope, restores ally health by 20%. Oh, okay, cool. That's awesome. Cancels attribute downgrades. <coughs> oh, okay. Uh, mine is 100% to enemy key recovery. Wow. For five timer counts, requirements, 15 timer counts must have left. Yo, that is such an awesome main ability. Yo, Krillin's pretty damn good, man. That main ability is freaking uh, really ridiculous, actually. So the the enemy, if, especially in PvP, that is going to be a PvP killer right there. Anyone who has the Krillin, you use that, you're not going to be able to regenerate your key at all. And if you have someone like Paikuan uh, on there that also increases the Blast Card Arts uh, use, like they're only going to be able to pop off like, maybe two or three, and then they're never going to be able to recover. And he recovers all allies' health. That's insane. Um, and he, he cancels the attribute downgrades, which pretty much means, uh, for if, if I understand this correctly, it means that when the, you, they have a status ailment against you, it goes away. That's awesome. Unique ability. Team Goku, health plus res, health res plus, restores own health by 25% when character Goku is a battle member. Um, okay, that's awesome. Uh, so that, that means he's going to be doing Additional 25% health recovery for himself when he uses that. Uh, assist inflicted damage. 15% um, to damage inflicted for 10 timer counts when characters are switched. Interesting. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know if that's like cover damage type thing or if he just switches out so for 10 timer counts. And how often does that go off? Is it a one-time thing? Uh, all right, cool. Special diffusion blast deals major impact damage plus 10% to critical rate for 20 timer counts. All right, that's all right. I don't know. I don't think critical is that great in my opinion. But uh, I don't know how much damage. I never looked at the math. I don't know if anyone's done the math. Uh, Solar Flare inflicts flash, causes enemies to receive 20% more blast damage for 20 timer counts. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, though if Solar Flare, I kind of feel like they should have paralyzed them as well for a little bit. Um, uh, whatever. And he does two strike. Oh, man, that sucks. He, he's a blast card, but he uses two uh, strike cards. Uh, it's all right. So it looks like when he's at level one, he does uh, blue base strike and blast defense during battle. Uh, which means he's going to be a benefit to, I mean, I guess himself. Uh, if you have Broly, he's definitely going to do really well for your Broly because Broly is a freaking beast himself. I mean, I'm not going to go in, into Broly too much, but Broly is ridiculous. His strike attacks are insane, and this is just going to increase his blast attacks. So uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I guess P Pan's kind of whack in the free Goku. I, I use him in battle, but I'm not a big fan of him, uh, but he is there, so he's going to get those buffs as well. Um, overall, the new sparking units are pretty awesome. Uh, if I had to say, I'd say Krillin uh, is probably going to be my number one and Android 18. Uh, it's funny, too, because, you know, yeah, Krillin and 18. But because Android 18 has such a unique set of skills, because, I mean, she is going to be able to take out the Goku, the Turles, and the Vegeta. So if you ever go up against someone with any of those three, your Android 18 is going to literally be your counter them. And she will destroy them with her ability. I mean, remember, she does what? She, she does uh, additional damage to uh to the saiyans so the fact that she does additional 20 percent additional strike attack damage inflicted against saiyans 
is ridiculous. Uh, and she's a physical unit. And she has ridiculously high strike attack. So, yeah, she's definitely going to be a really good unit for that. Krillin, we already talked about him. Just because of the way he uh, he heals everyone, he increases his own health uh, when Goku's with him. Uh, and he does 15% more damage inflicted uh, with uh, when characters are switched. I mean, he's awesome. And he reduces the amount of ki that the, the actual opponent can regenerate. So overall, that's really all your sparking units. Now, I didn't realize I was going to go this far in depth with it. So I'm going to save the other units, the, the uh, extreme units for another video because uh, I'm already in this for 15. So thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you guys think about the new sparking units. Which ones do you want to go th uh, for yourself? Um, again, I'm not going to be summoning, but I hope on the, on the discounts that I get the Krillin. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace.